back to VMworld Live. I'm John Troyer. We're here with Dean Koza, Director of Product Management for VMware. Dean, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Dean, uh, you work with the VShield family of products, and VShield, which uh, which started off as VShield, the uh, first one was VShield Zones, but now we have a, a whole family called VShield. So, can That's you kind right. of lay out the different uh, members of the family? Yeah. Um, so, you know, very excited about the uh, new launch of the product family. Um, VShield uh, product line is intended to help customers accelerate their journey to a secure private cloud and beyond. Uh, we have three products in the family, VShield Edge, VShield App, and VShield Endpoint. Um, I'm actually thrilled that um, at VMworld in San Francisco, we won Best of VMworld for security products. Uh, I hear that that's, not a, that's an unusual thing because typically VMware products don't win, but I guess we've made significant impact um, that you know, Tech Target felt it was important that we win this award and we're obviously thrilled about it. And um, so let me tell you why we think we won. Uh, why is this uh, relevant to, to most of our customers, why they should care? And essentially, uh, we've created three new security control points uh, for our customers. One at the edge of their virtual data center. Think of it as, um, as a, a, a cage and a lock in a rack, as you would see in a hosting environment. Typically, there used to be in a hosting environment, lots of servers, and, and you get your own rack and you put a lock on it. In a cloud, uh, where all of these resources are virtualized, how would you do that? Well, you, you use the edge. So the edge creates a boundary around the VMs. Uh, it has a firewall, it has layer two isolation on the network. It also provides some uh, common perimeter services like VPN and load balancing, which allow our customers to connect those cloud-based environments, cloud-based workloads back to the mothership and the enterprise. So that is the first product, the edge, at the edge of the data center. And the second product is eShield app. Think of it as a boundary at the vApp level. So now we're talking about VM to VM communication, something that's been really difficult to do in the past because of the, the, the need to plumb VLANs into the virtual environment to actually expose the traffic to a firewall appliance outside vSphere, creating VLAN sprawl, rule sprawl, uh, tremendous complexity and cost for our customers. And we've simplified that dramatically with vShield app in a way that customers can create policies based on resource pools and security groups they create themselves very easily in a much more granular fashion without the complexity of network uh, topology design, VLANs, and so on. And then finally, the third product, uh, the VShield endpoint, um, is um, the ability to remove guest agents from VMs. And many customers I've talked to have uh, more than a dozen, some more than 20 agents running on a guest VM. The duplication of the but store, I, the network, or I think the, all the that very stuff. First, the very first mistake everybody makes as soon as they start virtualizing is, is they, they virtualize everything and then at 3 a.m. all their antivirus goes off at exactly. once and uh, everything crawls to a halt. That's right. They call it the AV storm. Yes. It's kind of like a boot storm. Uh, and what happens, it impacts uh, network, it impacts I.O. And for customers that have fairly high consolidation ratios, it can actually create a DRS storm because all of a sudden things are moving around and they have nowhere to go because they're all doing the same thing. Um, as you know, AV is a requirement for most uh, basic regulations. Uh, PCI requires it on every workload in a system. So uh, typically we see AV controls everywhere in the data center. So this is a fairly significant problem. We heard about it from customers. The endpoint really helps solve that problem. And uh, we're seeing, um, in fact, um, even benefits um, beyond security. Uh, our customers are experiencing 5 to 10% consolidation ratio improvements. And from a TCO standpoint, that's actually pretty significant. I'm sticking with Endpoint for a minute. Now, VMware is not the, it doesn't become the AV provider. In essence, this is a, a small uh, shunt in the guest that then offloads the AV scanning on demand or, or, or otherwise to one of our partner providers. That's right, about, that's right. Absolutely, I think that's, that's a great way to put it. So if you think about the way the agent typically works, it's completely in guest. And so we've removed the agent and put it in a security VM, and we built a channel to that. So now that security VM can actually service multiple VMs, multiple guests on that host, as many as you have actually. And that channel is what VShield Endpoint actually is. So it is, it is the guest VM file system driver, it is the loadable kernel module, the fast path if you would, and the hypervisor, and then the libraries we provide to our partners uh, to actually integrate with that channel and provide the AV capabilities and beyond. In fact, AV was really just the starting point. We're excited about the endpoint. I think that endpoint has the uh, um, uh, very strong potential to offload more capabilities, some agent-based, but also some network-based that tr t traditionally done on the network, but maybe done better in, in guest and a hypervisor. We're looking at file integrity monitoring, process integrity monitoring, sensitive data discovery, you know, like PCI, PHI, uh, credit cards, patient health and records, uh, sensitive data in Europe. In particular, I think customers are very concerned about data privacy. Uh, they have much more stringent data privacy laws here than they do in the United States. In fact, one of the funny cloud use cases is the Europeans don't like to uh, burst into the U.S. because they become subject to the Patriot Act. So 
giving them the facility to discover where the sensitive data is and have a policy that says, wow, you know, this workload should never go to a data center in the U.S. based on something like TXD and geolocation is a really powerful concept for them. It becomes a business level policy and that's really where we're headed. So we're, we're, we're headed towards you know, going beyond where we are today, adding more business context, user-based, application-based, identity-based policies, sensitive data discovery, in a way that really transforms um, you know, security from what it is today, a fairly complex, brittle, and expensive enterprise. By moving it out of the operating system, out of the user space, and in fact, in, into its own virtual, virtual machine, out and, and so it can watch from without, that's right. without rather that's than right. Yeah. We're, 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 it's becoming much more virtualization aware, which is the right place for it to be. Um, it's becoming more portable, uh, and at the same time, um, we are also not just taking things out of the guest, but we're actually taking them off the network as well, because if you think about it today, um, virtualization and cloud for security teams are a bit of like a black box. You've got these appliances on the outside, we've got the agents inside, but what's going on in the hypervisor somewhat uh, is blinding the security teams. They don't understand it. They, in some ways, they don't have a seat at the table, right? So we're giving them that seat at the table, and we're removing these appliances, and we're removing these agents, and, and using the hypervisor, making it a lot easier to instantiate security policies, making it really better than physical in many ways. Let's go back to vShield Edge for a minute. Um, Let's see, there's a bigger picture. vShield Edge, a piece of vShield Edge, or a version of it, is included with vCloud Director. Um, but it is a, even as a bigger conversation, often when we talk to customers, from what I hear, uh, security and compliance are major concerns as we move our data into hybrid clouds um, and the Absolutely. whole cloud operating model in general. Yeah. So can you talk maybe a little bit about how vShield yeah. Edge works there and also maybe even about the bigger picture that you, the, yeah. the bigger conversation that you have yeah. with customers? No, I, in, in fact I do. Um, I, talk, I talk to a lot of customers about cloud security. I'm uh, one of the resident experts and ironically, um, you know, there's a lot of things that people uh, consider a cloud to be, and, and the further out to a public cloud, non VMware cloud they get, the more hairy and scary it becomes. Um, now, having said that, uh, vShield Edge, as you pointed out, is one of those controls. We've, we've established it at the control of the org VDC. So that is a vCloud director construct. It is the new uh, org, org or tenant in the cloud. And so the vShield Edge actually provides that functionality in, in, in vCloud director. So, uh, the stateful packet inspection firewall, the network two isolation, uh, la layer two network isolation, the DHCP and NAT capabilities that are built into uh, vCloud Director are actually edge components. And then customers have the ability to upgrade to the firewall, to the VPN and load balancing uh, functionality. Now, uh, those are stepping stones towards a larger uh, cloud security discussion. And they may include application protection and data sensitive data protection and encryption and independent key management and uh, building uh, 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 on the hardware root of trust with virtual TPM and file integrity monitoring and processing and monitoring. What I tell customers when they when they approach this problem is, is really two things. One is um, cloud security is going to take a while to mature, especially when it comes to the public cloud. Uh, VMware has an excellent alternative in reducing and mitigating many of the risks that you would put in the public cloud with the introduction of the secure private cloud. In fact, the secure private cloud is managed by your team. It is not managed by a third party. It is audited by your team. The controls that you have in place are yours. And so a lot of the concerns that people have with the cloud really are resting with the public cloud. They don't necessarily inherently come here. But, okay, now we have some of the main, some, some of the some of the first things that you should do with the vShield Edge, with the vShield app and the endpoint to help you get there. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. Security is not a product. It's a. It's. It's not. It's a, not even a state of being. Maybe it's a. It's an. Oper, it's an operational stance and a and an attitude, I guess. So we can start by looking at our vShield products. Of course, the product pages, and that will lead you to some webinars and some other materials we have that you can start the conversation about security in general and in, in, in your in your data center and, and as we move to the cloud. That's right. So, Dean, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Appreciate thanks. it.